Hi students, I hope all are well and good. Yes. Uh, today, in science, we are going to revise lesson number four. Okay. As we have revised lesson three, we have we are going to revise lesson number four. So the topic of the lesson is the water. Yes, water. As uh, we have go gone through it, water is a liquid, isn't it? Yes. In the page number, take page number eighteen. Water is a liquid, isn't it? Yes, no human beings uh, or any other living things, isn't it? Any other living things cannot live without water. Water is a liquid and no human beings or any other things cannot live without water. It is a very special liquid, isn't it? Yes, every living being has lots of water in its body. Every living beings, okay? Every living being has a water in its body. What's the color of the water? Yes, water is colorless. Water is colorless. The three main important point in this lesson is water has three forms, isn't it? Yes, what are they? Solid, liquid and gaseous. Solid, liquid and gaseous. Isn't it? Three forms of water. What are they? Solid, liquids and gaseous. When you co cool the water, what happens? It freezes or it changes into ice. When you cool, then ice is the solid form of water. What is the solid form of water? Ice. Okay? Ice is the solid form of water. Heat makes ice melt. When you heat the ice, when you heat the ice, what happened? It's the ice started melting. Okay? Water is in the liquid form. Water is the liquid form. What is the liquid form? Water itself. Water itself. Ice is the solid form. Water is the liquid form. Okay? Yes. When you heat water, it changes into water vapor. When you heat the water, what happens? It changes into water vapor. Water vapor is the gaseous form of water. Get this the gaseous form of water? It's called water vapor. Okay, this is the main point in this lesson. The solid form of water is called ice. Liquid form, water itself. And gaseous form is water vapor. Okay, this is the main point in this lesson. Solid form, liquid form and gaseous form. Solid form is called ice. Liquid form is called water. Uh, and gaseous form is, is called as water vapor. Okay. Yes. Uh, water vapor is colorless. Can we see it? No. Yes. It is colorless. Okay. The heat of the sun is constantly changing the waters. The heat of the sun in the mountains, in the nature, in nature. How does uh, heat uh, in nature, the heat of the sun is constantly changing the waters of rivers, lakes, oceans into water vapor. Okay? You can see it in the book page number 18. Okay? Can we see the water vapor? No. We cannot see the water vapor. Why? Because it is colorless. Okay? Okay. What are the three forms of water we see? Solid, liquid and gas. Okay? Now we are going to learn about the three forms of water. Okay? Ice. Ice is the solid form. We have learned, isn't it? A cube of ice has a fixed shape. Fixed shape. Main point. Three main points. Solids. Ice is the solid form of water and it has fixed shape. Ice is a solid form and cube of ice has a fixed shape. Other solids like uh, books, tables, etc. have a shape of their own. So, solids have a fixed shape. What about the water liquids? Water is a liquid, isn't it? Yes. Water is a liquid. It does not have a shape. Main point, it does not have a shape of its own. Liquids does not have a shape of its own.
liquids do not have a shape of its own but it has its uh, it, it takes the shape of the container okay when the water is poured into a glass or into, uh, into a jar it takes the shape of a jar it takes the shape of the container so liquids do not have a fixed shape solids have a fixed shape liquids take the shape of the container okay this is the second point and water vapor is a gas. Next, we move on to the water vapor. Water vapor is a gas. It also does not have any shape. Okay? Only solids have fixed shapes. Liquids and gases does not have a fixed shape. Only solids have fixed shapes. Liquids and gas, gas does not have a fixed shape. Okay. Air. Air is a mixture of gases, isn't it? Moving on to page. Moving on to page number 20. Okay. Air. Air is a gas. It's a mixture of gas. What are the gases in the air? Hydrogen, oxygen, hydrogen. We have learned earlier, isn't it? Yes. Air is a mixture of gases. Air too does not have a shape. Only solids have a fixed shape. Liquids and gases does not have a shape. Okay? Yes. Water. It mixes well. It mixes well. This is the next topic we are going to see. Water. Water is a liquid form of... Liquid form is called as water, isn't it? Yes. For example, you take sugar. When you mix it with uh, water, it... Uh, it mixes well with the water, isn't it? Yes, that seems to vanish. If you see under the water, uh, under the um, uh, tumbler, what do you see? Can you see the sugar? No. Salt is another thing that mixes well with water. Sugar and salt mixes well with water. Yes, it is a good thing. Can we imagine? It's a good thing, no? If sugar does not mix us well with the milk or water, then we will not be able to have drink uh, lemonades or uh, 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 milk or uh, coffee, anything, isn't it? Yes. Uh, air. Air also mixes well with water. Air also mixes well with water. That's why plants, uh, plants and animals, okay, plants and animals can live in water. Can you see the sea animals, isn't it? Fishes, crabs, dolphins, all living inside the water, isn't it? So, air also mixes with water. Air also mixes with water. Okay? They, uh, they, we, the air are mixed in water. Okay? This is a, this is a very small lesson. Okay? That's it. And this is the uh, main thing in this lesson is the solid, liquid and gaseous states. What are the three states? Solid, liquid and gaseous states. Solid is in the ice is the form of solid states and water is in the liquid states and water vapor in the gaseous form. Okay. This is the, and this is the, shall we have a recap? Yes. Uh, ice is the solid form of water. Uh, water is the liquid form and water vapor is the gaseous form. Next, solids have a fixed, fixed shapes and in liquids does not have a fixed, fixed shapes. It takes the shape of a container or the glass. Container is nothing but the glass or the jar in which it is poured. Okay. And um, gas, gas, it also does not have a fixed shape and liquids will flow. Liquids, when you pour the water, what happens? It will flow, isn't it? Yes. And solids will not flow. Okay, that's it. Okay, children, this is a very simple lesson. Just revise it. Okay, whatever the book exercises learn, uh, teach spellings and question answers, just learn and revise for your uh, quarterly exam. Okay, thank you, children.